Waiting on God is one of the hardest things to do because your faith is tested, your trust in Him, your strength, your patience, everything is put to the test. And I remember my last waiting phase, my physical strength filled me and I fell to the ground and said, Lord, let this cup pass. I knew He was the only one that could help me in that situation. And I asked why mine was different and why He was taking His time. And He reminded me of a scripture in 2 Peter 3 verse 9 that says, The Lord is not slow in keeping His promise, like some understand slowness. And what is this promise? He said He would not leave us nor forsake because he has plans to prosper us and not to harm us plans to give us hope and a future so if you're currently waiting on god for a breakthrough or an open door or an answer i want you to know this my mom always used to say that god's silence is an answer in its in itself because you do not know what he is shielding you from the bible says for i know the thoughts i think towards you thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end the fact that god has an answer doesn't mean that he hates you maybe if you get that blessing now you might not be ready to receive it maybe if you get the blessing now it might take god's place in your life maybe if you get the blessing it might become a curse so trust him that he knows what he is doing and whatever decision he's making towards your life it, he wants to take you to that expected end joseph waited 13 years to get to his expected end. abraham he waited for years to have a child and when he finally did god blessed him and made him the father of many nations these men of god trusted in god so keep on trusting him in him keep on praying keep on being a faithful servant isaiah 40 says those that wait on the lord he will renew their strength they would run and not be weary they would walk and they would not faint so keep trusting in the Lord and stop comparing your journey with anyone else trust me I have had my waiting phase we are we all have had a waiting phases so you're not different God doesn't hate you the Bible says God makes everything beautiful in his time so if it's not beautiful then it's not God's time so